Hey, what's up, guys? Beatles are back here for another review, and this time I'm gonna be reviewing Miss Fritter from Cars 3. And this is the 2017 Miss Fritter, and I will go on to, about the variations of her at the end of the video. But so here's Miss Fritter. She has her hood here has two little. I'm not sure what they're. Uh, I guess maybe vents, but I guess they're supposed to represent nostrils. Wait, and there's a chain going through them. She has teeth right here, pretty jagged, like she's been smashed a bit. She's got little uh, spots right there where her headlights used to be, and a chain going through there. And it's like going up, and then goes around out to here, where then it goes up again to the other side of her horn. So she has blue eyes, a very menacing expression. It has school bus on the top. She has a chrome bumper. She has a yellow where yellow lights are um, with the black thing on top and some red lights. On the side it says Miss Fritter. A uh, sign there covered up by the thing. I can't really tell what it is. 58. You can move the stop sign to see it. And then she has where all the license plates are. One of them says Park Avenue. And then the rest are just a bunch of license plates. Random license plates. And the windows are all boarded up. On the back, it's pretty dented with fritter time on there. Her license plate says FRTRTM, which stands for fritter time. Her lights are pretty bashed out in the back. And these aren't. She's got some bumper stickers on the windows, kind of like how Fillmore does. A bar right there on the window. Another busted out light. Yellow lights and then the red light. She has more stuff going over the windows. With the more license plates. She has Miss Fritter and 58. I'm pretty sure this is where her door was. Because on the other side it wasn't like that. But on this side I think this is where the door was. And she has her gray horn sticking out. The top is very detailed and like bumpy. Like she has been bent a lot. And smashed by the other demolition dirty cars. Here's the base. Her tires are black with gray rims and... Um, they're like spray painted on wrenches. Now, Miss Fritter here, she has like three different variations, maybe four or five. But this is I this is the May first one. I did not get it on May first, but this is the May first Miss Fritter because it is a very glossy paint. Kind of like I grabbed just Victor Hugo because I thought he'd have a pretty glossy paint, and he does. They have about the same kind of glossy paint versus. Maybe, like, Scott Tiller over here, who has a very matte paint, and the light does not reflect off of it. He does have a kind of, uh, glossy paint. And then there was also one released later that is a semi-gloss, but I think how everybody called it the matte mist fritter, with a corrected stop sign. Now, this is the original stop sign that it came with, and the glossy paint. And then, in 2018, they released one that's fully matte paint. And the corrected stop sign. So those are the three main variations that you'd be probably looking for for Miss Fritter. Now I'm going to get on to comparing her to some other cars. So here she is compared with Dr. Damage. This is the glossy version of him. This is not the matte variation. Then there's also Arby. And I grabbed Riker. I thought that they'd be kind of compared, but they are very different. Riker's a lot bigger than this one. So I can just tell the size of it. Here she is with Mr. Drizzle. Now, this is going to be something different. I don't usually do this, but I'm going to start doing it now. Is comparing her to Lightning McQueen and Mac. So here she is with McQueen just for size comparison. So this is just a regular McQueen. This is the Hudson Hornet Pistol Cup McQueen, but it's the exact same as the Chester Wilbur Filter McQueen. And all the other McQueens except for Cars 3 McQueen. Any McQueen in the Cars 3 packaging except for Chester Wilbur Filter is um, not this model, but Chester Wilbur Filter. Every McQueen except the McQueens in the Cars 3 packaging and Chester Wilbur Filter are 
this model. So, yeah, it's a pretty decent size difference. Here she is with the Mac. This is the Cards 1 Mac. I do not currently have the Cards 3 Mac, but I plan on getting it. So, they are about the same length, but Mac, their mistreater is a lot bigger than Mac. But Mac's totally bigger. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be doing next for this thing. APB, Fishtail, or T-Bone. These are the three Demolition Derby contenders in the five-pack. And I thought it'd be good to just have these guys as a thing. Because they're all Demolition Derby cards. They're all in the same five-pack. So, might as well. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching this review on Miss Fritter. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to be reviewing Dynaco Cruz Ramirez. Um... And then Tim Treadless, because those are some of the ones on the two, the Cruiser Mirrors video and the Jackson Storm video. Somebody did comment Tim on the Jackson Storm video, so that one was already known. Nobody commented on Cruiser Mirrors, though. So I would have to, I will have to just pick Dynaco Cruise. But thank you all for watching this review on Miss Fritter, and I will see you all tomorrow in my review of... Danica Cruz. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.